What's dirty guys? My name is Unamade, and today I'm bringing you another episode of Would You Rather. I believe this is episode 6, and I'm sorry if you can hear some background noise. My window is open. But uh, today I'm doing things a little differently than I normally do for the Would You Rather. Usually I have a guest or two. Uh, I'm doing this one by myself, and I found a pretty cool uh, website that will generate random Would You Rather questions for me. So I'll be answering these questions on the fly. I've never seen any of these questions before. And uh, but before I get into that, I just want to say if you like the Would You Rather series and you want to see more, if you like, even if you like it where I, I'm doing these, you know, by myself without my friends. Um, then uh, leave a rating for me, leave a like, and uh, don't forget if you have any would you rather questions that you would like to see me or any of my YouTube friends, such as Mrs. May, Laura Kills, White Biz, and Mr. Shibbles, um, to answer, leave them in the comments below, and the next episode we will happily get to them. So without further ado, let's get underway. Alright, first question Would you rather have every movie you watched replaced? Replaces the lead role with Nicolas Cage, or every song you hear is performed by Nickelback. Now, all right, Nickelback. Um, I find that the majority of their songs sound the same. It's very bland. Um, some of them can be catchy, yeah, but it's not my style of music. Um, I know they are Canadian, and so am I. But I, I just don't like Nickelback. But with like with Nicolas Cage, yeah, he can be a very um, bland actor sometimes. Um, you know, he doesn't show much emotion. And, you know, sometimes his character can be bullshit. But, I mean, at least he can play... Like, he does have a couple good movies like National Treasure. I like that movie. But, um... He can play different roles. And the movie will at least somewhat be interesting. Not to mention, um... I'm pretty sure he'll have, you know, other character... Uh, other roles, other characters that'll, uh... Make him better. So, I'd probably... Be, I'm gonna say I'd rather have all the movies that I watch... Have Nicholas Cage be the lead role. All right, let's move on. Next question. <sighs> would you, if you had to die, would you rather die a painful death that goes down in history or die a painless death that everyone hates you for? <laughs> die a painful death that goes down in history, man. You know, like getting chopped up in a wood chopper, uh, wood, you know, those woodcutter chopper things, I forget what they're called. Uh, and, you know, spread all over, I don't know, just school's campus. Like, that'd be freaking awesome i don't know just dying in a painless death that everyone hates you for i don't know i don't want to be known for like everyone hates me for like i don't want people hating me that's what i'm trying to say uh even though I'm, i probably get a lot of hate on youtube or will anyways so i'm probably gonna say die a painful death that goes down in history because i want people to like you know i want people to remember me you know like that guy was a boss he he took a gunshot to the nuts and bled out that guy's a freaking champion <laughs> All right. Uh, would you rather eat 20 ice cubes in 90 seconds, or forget everything that you did in the past year? Um, huh. I'm gonna I'm gonna say eat 20. It depends. Can I chew the ice cubes? If I can chew the ice cubes, I did, I'll eat the ice cubes in 90 seconds. That's nothing. Um, but if it was I had to swallow the ice cubes whole, I probably couldn't do that forcing me to do the other one but uh, yeah I'm going with eat uh, 20 ice cubes in 90 seconds that should be no problem for me I can eat fucking whole pizzas in 90 seconds much less <laughs> much less ice cubes um, would you rather eat a table of salt uh, sorry a tablespoon of salt or eat a tablespoon of cinnamon hmm. Ta eating a tablespoon of cinnamon is extremely hard to do um, salt I could probably do no problem I can just back it and and it'll be a lot easier than the cinnamon because cinnamon is really painful. Like especially if you uh, inhale the cinnamon and it gets in your throat, you're gonna start coughing, and then you're just gonna do a puff. I mean, a puff of cinnamon. Like I, I know you guys pro probably seen those uh, cinnamon challenges and stuff like that. So I'm gonna take the pussy way out, and I'm gonna eat a tablespoon of salt. Not like I've never done it before. <laughs> uh, would you rather beat up a seven-year-old or beat up a seventy-seven-year-old? Now this one's actually quite easy i'd rather beat up a 77 year old because beating up on little kids like that's just so wrong they have no way of defending themselves i mean like with a 77 year old okay like not all 77 year olds are <clears throat> you know bound to a wheelchair and can't defend themselves you know, and weak as brittle i mean I, I i know a couple uh family members that are 77 and they're you know up and about all day every day and you know working on sheds and stuff like that so um, I want to say I will beat up a 77-year-old because beating up a 7-year-old is just fucking mean. 
Even though it would be an easier challenge, but I mean, I don't want to take the pussy way out of this one. Um, let's see. Would you rather listen to Rebecca Black or listen to Justin Bieber? Um, <clears throat> let's see. So, uh, do I want to listen to a song where the lyrics are stupid and pointless? You know, talking about a day of the week or uh, talking about uh, where the, or listen to music where the lyrics talk about girls and stuff like that. I think I'd probably take Justin Bieber. Either way, I'm listening to a girl, so what does it matter? Um, I just think Justin Bieber will prob probably has more uh, better lyrics than Rebecca Black. Because when I listen to music, I like to listen to music that actually has some kind of meaning or, or you know, a story behind it. And um, from what I understand, Rebecca Black doesn't have that skill at all. <laughs> all right. Um, would you rather be born with red hair or have a hundred dollars stolen from you? Born with red hair. I, I, hon I, honestly, I think red hair, like, girls with red hair are fucking hot. Yeah, uh, as for guys, I don't know, I don't really judge guys, but, um, yeah, that's right, I have a thing for redheads. Um, like, I, I, I personally don't understand the whole thing where, you know, people get teased for having red hair or for being a ginger. It's really stupid. Um, uh, let's see. Next question, next question. Uh, would you rather live in an abandoned bomb shelter or live in an isolated tower. Hmm. It. I, I guess it depends on what's in, in. In what? Like this isolated tower? Is it like fully stocked with food and electronics? Does it have power and stuff like that? Or and like this bombshell? Yeah, it might have uh, food, but I mean, like it's probably small, confined. And while this tower, I'll have like you know many, many floors to go about doing my day. So I'd probably live in an isolated tower. All right. Would you rather live in a castle or own a yacht? I don't know. A lot of people say castles are haunted and can be scary and um, really, really large. Um, but own a yacht. I mean, let's imagine that I, I could sell that castle for quite a bit of money. <laughs> um, definitely more than a yacht. But uh, own a yacht. I mean, I don't live anywhere near water, and I'm not a a fan of a boat or boats or the water swimming or anything like that or anything that requires physical activity really <laughs> so i'm gonna probably say live in a castle i mean you know like i love the medieval times and stuff like that and i think that would just be absolutely amazing to live in a castle so i'm gonna go with live in a castle um would you rather always be hot or always be cold um i hate being hot um i sweat a lot when i'm hot and i like extreme amount of sweat and it's very very uncomfortable i'm one of those people who likes my bed cold not warm so i'm probably going to be going with always be cold um would you rather live forever or until the end of the universe or die right now with no afterlife what kind of fucking question is that um that's that's hard to say I, I personally I don't want to die. I love life, so I'm gonna say live forever. You know, think of I, some people are like oh you'll see a lot of people die, a lot of family members die, and friends and stuff like that. But I mean, look at it this way: you get to see friends come and go, and it's uh, I think it's a great experience. You know, you you, you just have a lot of friends, and a lot of experiences, and a lot of stories to share. You know, can you imagine like living on you uh, like having. Living forever and having a YouTube channel forever? It, I think that would be freaking amazing. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, stay dirty. Oh, and check out my Facebook. Link in the description.